<sighs> Hi guys, this is a really impromptu video because I, sorry, I'm literally wearing, I, look, I wear this t-shirt all the damn time. This, if this is not testimony to how much worth it is, I just, just get it. I know I wear it, I've worn this in like two or three videos, I think. Anyway, basically, I literally just went to go do some errands and pick up some parcels from my mailbox. I was obviously away in Bali for like three weeks and then I'm going away again and I basically didn't really shop and I was like, I wanna shop. And I shopped a bit and also I've been sent quite a few things. So I went to my mailbox where all my parcels get sent to. And oh my God, okay, so I've got a big thing for the parcels and these two extras here. I've got more things coming today but I'm pushed for time so I was like, I'm just gonna do this video real quick and do like a blogger mail slash haul kind of thing. It's really hot in my flat, so I've had to open the window if it's really loud outside. I am sorry. Uh, a guy just walked by having an argument on the phone to somebody be like, if you come near my effing son again, I am gonna kill ya, mate. Welcome to the lovely area of London that I live in. So, I'm gonna show you some of the things which I got. I think one of these parcels might be a gifting parcel. It is so okay. This one's a gifting one. Ah, oh, nice. Um, so I went to the Nasty Gal collaboration with M Rata launch, like Ultimate Babe, Ultimate Babe, and I picked out some bits as gifting. Um, and one of the things was this purple rain t shirt. Loves a band tee, loves a like, well, you know, band style tee, that kind of thing. Purple rain, prince, purple rain, purple rain. If you haven't checked out the collection already, it's really, really great. Obviously, she's gonna sell anything anyway because she's the hottest person alive. She's gonna make anything look good. So, uh, yeah, that's um, she's just so damn fit. So, this is really weather appropriate when it's really hot outside. But very, very, very cool. I'm really conscious of the packaging. I always feel so guilty about all the packaging, I will admit. Um, but this is a leather, sort of like mini kind of trench coat kind of thing. Uh, I really, really like it. I think it's very cool. And um, I mean, she sold it to me completely. So, uh, yes. Okay, this one, I'm pretty sure is parcel. Well, it's gotta be. This is what I ordered for myself from the collection. There's some bits that I really, really like. You guys know I love a blazer, and this came in like a kind of creamy white color as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it also came with matching trousers, but I just don't think the trousers are me. Like I'm, because being quite short, I'm not sure if I feel a little bit overwhelmed by it, but this is just like an oversized, really, really cool blazer. And I just thought that would look amazing thrown over things. It's quite lightweight. So I think in this time of year, like spring and summer, actually really, really, really ideal. So big fan of that. Then I got this top, which I did not realize, what is this fabric, what is this made out of? Oh, it's gonna be polyester, isn't it? Okay, 46 viscose, 37% polyester. Okay, so I kind of thought this looked like it was more like cotton. I might be okay with this. I just feel like I always sweat quite a lot in like really polyester-y based things. Oh no, oh no, this wasn't what I ordered. Okay, well I ordered a really nice top and I've instead I've got wide leg pants. Um, oh no, that's really sad. I didn't want, I mean I'm not going to bother trying them on because I didn't. Or I didn't order them. So um, this, I think, is a gift. I think this is beauty stuff. I don't need to do that much beauty. But, okay, this is from Iconic Pro Puff and Luminous Powder in there. So, ooh, look at that. That's nice, so it's kind of a bit like a shimmer brick kind of thing. Right, okay, let's have a look at this pro puff. Okay, this is nice. I'm getting too excited. <gasps> I've never been excited by like a powder puff before. Oh my God. And it feels really, really nice. I mean, I just like, like it as a, kind of looks like a, <laughs> I was just about to say, it kind of looks a little bit like a butt plug in a way. Oh my god, that's so disgusting. No, when I was looking, I was looking on the Anne Summers website or another sex toy website, and um, 
I came across these things and they're like, oh my god, it looks like I'm gonna have to find it. It was really weird. It was like a bunny tail butt plug and I had to send a picture of it to my friend to be like, what is this? Because she's like really into her sex toys and things like that. <laughs> That's, this is kind of what it looks like. Like, <laughs> same, same but different, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, cool. Okay, so I ordered, I really wanted like an oversized leather jacket. I did try one on from the M Rata collection, but I didn't really like the sleeves on it very much. So I looked on this guy did. I don't usually shop from them very much. Um, but they have some good stuff. But I found a really nice looking one. Well, it's a nice looking one for the price. I really want the acne one, but that's 1,400 pounds and I'd rather spend 40 quid than 1400 if I am completely on this. So I've got it in an eight and a 10 to try. Yeah, it does have that cheap fake leather fish smell, which I hate. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'll try it on, see how I feel about it. First impressions are it might look okay. I just, it's only if you can get over the smell of it. This, I have been gifted stuff by this brand before. I really, really love them, but all right put this myself you are you are a badass i got this really cute jumper which is actually a lot bigger than i thought it would be what size is it it's medium mm. a little bit bigger than i thought it would be i'm not entirely sure if i'll keep it because i wanted it to be a little bit smaller but it is really really cute um you know i love like a slogan thing um not exactly the most weather appropriate i know right now because it's really bloody hot outside but you gotta do what you gotta do and then this one, which I was really excited about, Fantastico. I really love this. Gemma has it. And I was just like, it's so, so cute. I always think it looks lovely. This is a size small, I think. Um, yeah, and it comes oversized anyway. So excited to try that bad boy on. Okay, now some things I ordered from ASOS. I, you know what? I always like rip these open in a really like crappy way. And then when I need to return things, I can't because the bag's destroyed. So I got this makeup bag, and if you just have a little look at it, it's kind of one which is designed to be like, it's called the Flat Lay Company makeup bag. So it comes flat, so it's like, I found when I was away in Bali, I was just rummaging through my bag so much. My makeup bag, it was really annoying. And this, it's just flat. And then you, like that, you draw string it up, and voila. I feel like a few things might escape from that. Oh, it looks like, now it kind of looks like a bum. Go for the bump, the butt plug. Great. Oh god, why is everything to do with? <laughs> Sorry, I'm being really rude today. I don't know what's come over me. And then I got a bottle of Bondi sands because I um, was doing an order anyway, and they haven't got any at my local boots. Okay. Uh, 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 what is in here? I don't know what this is. Could be anything. <gasps> yes. Oh my god. Sorry, that was really dramatic. Okay, so I ordered some things from Realization Part. Now, they now have a UK website, so shipping takes, a UK and European website, so shipping takes a lot less than it used to, and it's just a lot better to shop directly from that. So, you know I love a summer dress. I don't know why I bought this one. I've got one really similar from Reformation. I might send this back. Um, oh, so nice though. So this is this really cute little dress. I've got them in a size, both in a size small, so we see how we go. Last time I ordered a dress from Realization Power, I needed a medium, but I have, I know I've said to you guys before, the sizing is so, so hit and miss. And then this dress, which I felt like in the promotional images for it, it was a lot of a paler looking yellow than this. Um, so I'm not sure if I like, which is the back and what's the front? Okay, that's the front. I'm not sure if I like, really love it. But it's cute. We'll see what it's like when it's on. Um, it looked like it was a really nice fit on the model. But then again, that's what models are paid to do, isn't it? So, so this t-shirt is a little bit like out there. But I saw it and I was like, I really like it. And I love an oversized tee. Even if it's just for like lounging in. And oh, I really hope that it would be the same fabric as this one. Because this is so soft. But it's not. 
Um, so this is just a really oversized t-shirt. It's quite still quite fun though. It's like really vintage style. Um, and it's like based on like a, a like a Balinese beach. Um, really 80s style, which I love. I think with a pair of chunky trainers, that would look really, really cool. And then I got the skirt because you know I like a bit of floral prints. I wanted one which is a bit flippier than my Reformation one. Also that one is really quite loose fitting on me now like i've lost a little bit of weight so it's quite loose fitting um so i wanted one which fitted probably a little bit better if you love that skirt this is a really nice alternative to it it's kind of really similar and it's just from obviously urban outfitters really really sweet just realized i have some other new things that i wanted to show you guys so i may as well just add them to the mix as well you know what maybe i will keep these trousers they look like they could be quite comfortable but I might spill stuff down, I'm sorry. I'm still obsessing over the fact that the trousers that, I mean, I I, I wanted a top, not trousers, that's really annoying, sorry. Anyway, um, speaking of trousers, these are jeans, not trousers, Um, yeah. So, these are the Topshop straight leg jeans and they are the ones with the exposed button fly i got them in a waist 28 i usually get waist 26 i've found especially this particular style of jeans when i've been trying them on it's not been a good story for me in the dressing rooms at all i've been like mm. so yeah um that's these jeans hopefully they'll fit if not i'll exchange them for another size um this dress from topshop which is so comfy, so cute. I am gonna go out and shoot it today for Instagram. If you're not already following me, do follow me at Sophie Milner underscore F is. Uh, I, like, it's a very me kind of dress. I absolutely love it. You can dress it up for sure with heels and wear it like on a night out easily, or you can just wear it with trainers. I know I'm going to love wearing it with my Balenciaga trainers. So yeah, no, I'm a big, big fan of this dress. Now this dress, I admit, I've totally worn it in Bali already. Um, it's a little bit covered in fake tan on the inside. Um, looks like nothing when I'm holding it up. But I love it so much. It's definitely the pricier end of the scale for and other stories for a dress. But it's beautiful. It is so, so nice. I got a size 8 and I just honestly love it. I'd get it in black if I felt like I should, but I really shouldn't, so I'm not going to. Um, but I just think it's so nice. So I just, I, like my, it's my favorite. <sighs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> oh my God, I just get really excited. It's just my favorite thing. God, um, I don't even think I've had any coffee today. Uh, <gasps> uh, this skirt from and other stories which i've also wore in bali absolutely loads i'm just gonna try it on instead of holding it up because it's all that tangled and stuff obsessed with it it's you know when you wear an like item of clothing and it makes you feel amazing this is one of these pieces and i am denied about it because i don't usually go for long skirts because i'm shorter and i don't find that they are often that flattering on my calves but this is like it's a bit longer than a midi and because it's got the split up it oh it's so sexy i love it so yeah this is one of my favorite favorite pieces in my wardrobe right now um so yeah perhaps i'm gonna have to do like a june favorites video and do that so yeah i probably will i'm gonna do that too um yeah okay and oh, this is a new blazer like i said i love blazers this is from topshop definite different quality and like the way it fits in comparison to the nasty gal stuff like i do love nasty gal but this it's reflected in the price point at the end of the day this is an 80 pound blazer so it's more than double the price i love it i love the beiginess of it i think it's super manly and like it's something that a date might wear like if you know when you go on a date with a guy that you match with on tinder and he's really really posh and went to private school and he's very raw and um he's probably called like toby or rupert and um he uh, didn't get onto the rowing team and he's quite bitter about that and he would probably wear something like this in the summer and you'd probably laugh at him for it because you're like oh he's stupid clothes but then actually it looks good on you so <laughs> so that's it that's okay um so that's how i would describe this blazer and then i've got this sexy dress which i don't know when i'm gonna wear it so i might return it i just bought it because i was like 
maybe I'll wear it to my friend's wedding. So uh, yeah, this is just this black dress. It's, I, I actually really like the tears on it. I didn't know if these would be that flattering on me, but I just think it's a really, really, really beautiful dress. Um, so yes, anyway, that is the all my hauls, um, all my new things and um, stuff like that. So I... I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, let me show you my, I keep thinking about new things. I'm like, let me show you my new rings. Also got some new rings from Masoma. I love their jewelry so much and a new bracelet as well. I got this when I was in Bali. I just, I'm like, they're like, I must show you everything. Huh. Um, so yeah, uh, that's just some final little things. So uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will be back with a video, another video very, very soon. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And I promise I won't talk so much about weird, funny butt plugs in the future. Um, unless, of course, that's what you want. So, that's it. does anyone really want that? Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Waste all your breath, huh?